Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. Well, I'm going to do a lot of bits of automation in this episode. So let's get on with it and find out what we can actually do. Now, one thing I've got with me here is some emeralds. And what I want to do is I've got no emeralds in here, have I? Nope. Let's put some emeralds in here. I've got two. Let's put them in because they take quite a long time. I've got some blood in here too. That doesn't matter very much. And what I'm going to do is to take this out of here and put it away. That was a sharpening kit. What I've got here is a gem cast. Now, you can make a gem cast. You put a gem on the casting table and you pour gold onto it. And then you get a gem cast. Like that. And when this is finished, it'll take a while. We'll come back in a few seconds. We'll have a look at what happens when we do emeralds in there. I've also done some more work over here for immersive engineering, like here, for example, I've built an assembler, and here I built a crusher. Now the crusher is really good for things like um, redstone ore. Let's have a quick look at that, and we can see what we can do. So if I get some redstone ore out of my system, so let's just get. I've got 41. Let's just take um, a few of those. Let's take one of those, and then put that into the crusher. Now, if I put it in, I've got no magnet on me at the moment, as you can see. And in my bubbles, I don't have my magnet. I've taken it off, but I still got a magnet, and I'll show you what's happening. Put that into that, and it comes straight back to me here, as you saw. Now, in the wireless card here, you can uh, that's the index. Sorry, let's try it again. Here, I've got a magnet card, and it's activated. It's active at the moment, putting extra items into the inventory. What I can do with this though is turn it off. So let's just turn it off by shift. Well, actually, you can program a key to it. That leaves them on the ground and that deactivates them. So now, when I put this in here, it doesn't take it. It goes up there into the crusher and comes out here with six redstone ore. So I've been doing that a bit. And the magnet card is a lot more powerful than this as well. Let's, let's have a look at that again. I think I can take it out here like this and then you can simply right click it yes and then you can basically wipe this stuff here so you can put items into a filter here so for it and then they can or you can blacklist them so you don't pick up certain items and you can ignore the data or use all dictionary so for example if I didn't want to pick up cobblestone I could put that into here um, and so on and so forth pretty powerful really it's like a souped up magnet so let's put that back into my place here and you can see it's got a magnet here oh i can actually do it from here didn't realize that what you can also do the, the recipe for crafting the magnet is in jdi so i won't show you that but with the magnet you can also program a key to it and this is what i couldn't find last time when i was trying to do that so if i go to options and controls go right down to the bottom here you see you've got different things so, so you can open the GUI with a, a particular key press so I've got subtract which is on the numeric pad and add to open the card so that's how I did that last time I couldn't find that for some reason or other now let's go and have a look at those emeralds they should have been smelted by now indeed they have so it's got eight gems worth so you can then simply put those into the card here like this And that should then set fairly quickly and we'll get a gem out of here. In fact, what I can do is turn the redstone clock on so the next time it'll come out and we'll get another gem. As you can see. There it goes. So now we've got a gem in here. And after a short while, we'll have eight gems in there. Now, I'm going to go downstairs into the next bit now. Oh yes, Tinker's Automation, I did this as well. So I've got a hopper in here. So for example, if I want to make some steel, maybe I've got some steel in here like this. So I take a steel plate, I want to make a steel plate. I think my magnet is turned off, so I can put that into there. And it stays in there. Because i got this redstone block here. Basic interface. Right click that, and then it drops down and we should get out of there probably already gone there it goes gets pressed and it falls down into this thing here so we've now got a steel plate 
So I spent quite a lot of time trying to figure out the best way. And hoppers are obviously a pretty good way, cheap. And they work nicely, especially with that. So turn that back off again. So it disables the hopper. Another bit of automation I've been doing was with the Empower. Because some of the Empower stuff is really painful to do. So let's, for example, I think I've got a bit of lag at the moment. So let's have a look, for example, at that's black hardened clay. I think I would like block of vertex, block of coals here. So if I take a few of these, let's take, I can shift right clicking is not adding up. Let's take four of these. And then we go again. Let's put those into the into here. Hopefully, I've got enough power because I was. I also built. Where's it gone to? Oh, the other side. I'll show you in a minute. A repairing unit for repairing stuff, and it uses tons of power. So let's just put these down on the ground here, like this, and press the button. Did that miss them? No, now the void crystal blocks. Let's put the lens back on it. It doesn't look much different from coal. So I can, for example, put the void crystal blocks here into this mechanical user. And we can make these to being the, the enhanced version or the empowered version of that. So let's have a look at how we do that because I've forgotten. That's just for your crystals, isn't it? So we have the empowered void crystal block. And the recipe for that is four charcoal, four flint, four ink sacks, and four stone. So let's get those out of the system. So we want ink sacks. I think I've got seven. So if I right click that, I get half of those four. Flint was one, wasn't it? Charcoal. And stone. So now I just have to put these into here. So for example, put those into there. I'm just shifting, clicking these into here like that, this one, and the final one with ink sacks here. And I come round here and I bash this square here, and it starts to do the process as you can see. While that's working, let's have a quick look at this. Let's get another mechanical user out. I'm not sure whether I can use a second mechanical user to take an item off here. So let's have a look at that. Let's make another mechanical user. I don't think I've got one in, in here already. Nope. Right, what I'm going to do is put this mechanical user down here and then take any tool I like really to get that to the right position like this so then we want to basically say we want to write we want to use activate block with item okay or because it was always on if I want to I think I should do it with a pulse right click random slot so now let's try this again now it's working a second time you'll notice that the the beam can go through that mechanical user so we need to, let me have a go. I think I've got something with me I can use for that. Let's go into here. It was wrong. Let's go up here and then take my redstone activator to give it a pulse. There we go. Right click that and that sure enough took it off again. So we should have in here now two, which is great. So I should be able to automate this completely in that case. Let me just remove this plate out of there because I don't want to put a plate down. And again, 
so I should be able to set up a redstone delay. So what I was planning to do is to put the red when I start initiate this, it takes it off, puts it into its inventory, and then just has a little bit of delay, then triggers the other four to or five to do the rest of it. That's my plan. There we go. And sure enough. This should now be the last one of those. Let's have a look in here. Yes, that's empty. And this was the same process. So I've got a redstone pulse, activate block with item, right click, random slot. In fact, I can use the top left because I always put it into the top left anyway when you shift click something in there. And there you obviously have speed upgrades for this as well. All right. So there we have our four empowered void crystals, which of course you need for the large crates. Now, that should have finished. So we now have our eight emeralds, which is great, from two ores. Now, one thing I got from one of those rewards was a, see if I can find it, here we go. I got this shader, and when you, it was from when I, uh, kill the uh, ender dragon we got this glowing thing and I right clicked it and then I got this shader so what it says if you should look it can be applied to shift hold so you can apply it to a chemical threat a railgun a mine cart a balloon a mining drill and a revolver well I've got a railgun here and a shader and you have to do it in the in the workstation here so if you have a look at this at the moment it looks like that so if we put this in I think we have to do it in this order and then take it out now we have a different looking gun, I guess. Yes, it's sort of brown instead of being black. It's just, it's purely decoration. It does nothing else other than decoration. But I thought I'd show you that because that's what that, oops, what's happening now on the conveyor belt? To take out was strange. <laughs> Let's just take off. Good thing that wasn't the crusher, it would hurt. N now. Let's have a look. I've got a GPU warning, which basically means I think I should stop this process. Let's just cancel this because I was making some dirt, and I think it's the pr this this dirt that's actually causing um, some lag. What I've been doing is I've been putting items into compressing compacting drawers. So, for example, bricks are good ones, and of course. Steel is another good one, and pig iron is pretty good. And on the other side, we've got more, but, and they're all coming from smelting stuff, I suppose. But what I wanted to look at here is I did when I killed the Ender Dragon, I I rooted it, and I got from here. If you look at this now, it says I've got 33 da dragon eggs, 64 stacks of dragon's breath, and that was after about one hour or something like that. So what I was planning to do with this, because I don't think I've got that much uses for dragons, that much dragon's breath, um, is to make a halitosis, a halitosis generator. So quite a powerful. Let's see what we actually need from that halitosis generator. No, I won't have it there. Well, I have to put it down at the bottom here. It's this one. So we need. Purple blocks, not oh, really, okay. One end rod, one furnace generator, makes the utility and two redstone. Let's see what we need for that. I probably haven't got a machine. Might actually have the machine one. Let's do that one. What am I missing? A furnace, okay, let's make a furnace. Make about eight furnaces, I think. There's no shortage of cobblestone. And then we can maybe make this. I need this purple block. Okay, that's made from popped chorus fruit. And I won't have enough of that, I don't suppose. But I have got chorus fruit. I haven't got popped ones. So we need um, to pop a few of these. I might have some popped ones in the index, actually. Let's have a look. got six actually it's all I need 
Now I need two more, don't I? Don't need the end heads. End of man heads. I could put those into the other place actually. So now we've got six. So we needed to pop two more. Let's just go and do that. If I put them into this sagmill here. They'll come up. And they've now gone back into the system. So let's make the rest of that components there. It's interesting my thing didn't actually cancel. So now I should be able to make the generator. I have no idea how powerful this thing is. Let's have a look. Put it down there. Right click it. So it has 1 million RF. So if we put in one Dragon's Breath and then leave it, how much is it doing? It's actually generating. Oh, it'll generate for 10 minutes. And what rate is it generating it at? Doesn't really tell me, does it? Let's have a look. Oh, it's doing 40 RF a tick, so it's not particularly special. And it produces 480,000 RF. Well, that's actually not, that's quite a reasonable amount of RF. So anyway, I'll leave that to do its work. I think you can't break these things either, so without losing the power, so I might as well leave it doing its thing. And the other thing we did was slimes, wasn't it? How many slime balls have I got now? Let's have a look. I've got nine stacks of slime balls, and I think they're still in the system being Root still working on slimes at the moment, so that's good because slimes are a pain to get from from um, leaves anyway. And there's one more thing I haven't shown you. Going back to immersive engineering, I wanted to show you today was this automation of. Um, treated wood planks so you put a bucket in here and then around this you, you can build this fairly straightforwardly and in here I've got a fluid pipe coming from this tank here so this tank is being filled up from I'm actually not using the right pipes I'm using the end dryer ones but here are the immersive engineering fluid pipes and that comes into here so if we get some wood it doesn't really matter which planks I get so let's get some planks out of here Actually, I'm running out of. Let's take, let's take 32 of those and put those into here. So I just basically it's got an inventory, very much like the RF tools crafting, and they craft from left to right. So that's the first one. So if you wanted to make treated wood sticks, you'd put in planks here, and then it would come across into here as sticks, and the sticks would then come out into this output port here. But it's got no liquid. And the reason it's got no liquid is I need to turn this on like that. And as soon as I do that, this should start to work. As you can see, I've already got 32 planks and this is filling up again with eight buckets of creosote. And you could have different tanks. There are three different tanks to fill up. So I guess that they're coming in from the other side. Not exactly sure where, to be honest with you. And I'll turn this off again. So this is doing still working 31% 148,000 RF so a shorter episode than normal but I hope you enjoyed it a few little tips and tricks I'm starting to work on rocketry as you may have noticed from my some of my inventory items so until next time I'm going to say bye for now <laughs>